This is a small box elder that I'm going to frill and then treat. I'm just using a chisel and I'm going to do it fairly close to the ground. But right here, this is probably a oh, foot and a half from the ground. And just make a little mark like that. Try to bend the bark out a little bit. And then take the dispenser and put the foam right in there. It's just like that. Very simple. And do that around the tree. Do another one here. Doesn't have to be deep, just deep enough to expose that live inner bark. And then put a little foam in there. Just simple like that. Just go around the entire tree. If you need to, you can always use a hammer to tap the chisel. Okay, so there it is. I've gone around the entire base of the tree, spacing it about half inch to an inch apart. And that's it. Here's a quick review. First, for tools, use a chisel or even a knife for thin bark trees. An ideal width is about three quarters inch. Uh, the key thing is to make sure the chisel or knife is sharp. And then for the herbicide, I use, and I am partial because I founded the company, uh, I use the Green Shoot Small Foam Herbicide Dispenser. And the reason I think this works so well is you can get the herbicide right into the notch very quickly and very precisely. Remember, you're using a concentrated herbicide, so you don't want to get that herbicide onto any nearby desirable plants. So what about technique? First, make your cuts into the tree about a foot or two off the ground. Uh, you can vary this to some extent, but uh, try to go about that distance. And then your cut is designed to expose the inner bark. And you'll be able to see that when you see a much lighter colored inner bark. That's the live part of the tree where you want to get the herbicide into. And then third, immediately fill the cut with foam herbicide. And by immediately, I mean ideally within five minutes uh, or even 30 seconds if you can do it. The quicker, the better. And then finally, space the cuts about an inch apart around the tree circumference. Uh, for many trees, you can do a continuous cut. However, there are some trees like Tree of Heaven where you don't want to do a continuous cut. So I just recommend for any tree, just space them about an inch apart. That is it.